It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC East. It's the New York Jets and the Buffalo Bills. All that and more coming up next. We are just about four miles off the shore of Lake Erie at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Buffalo Bills. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. And we are underway in Buffalo. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And he returns this to the 22. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Allen off the play fake, out to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Solomon Thomas able to drop him for a loss of a couple. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. Throwing is Allen on third. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. And they pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. This will be fielded at the 17. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Jets will take over first and 10. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU with Zach Wilson. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing to start the drive, Wilson. 
steps away to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here pulled in by Lazari. That one, a first down pickup of eight. An eight yard pickup. And the Jets first down. Now it's Wilson. Able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 23 yards on the play. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 39-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Brees Hall. They'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. From the 31, here's second and a couple. On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We're scoreless after one. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Now Wilson. That's complete right side to Lazard. The result only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the Bills 19-yard line. They'll toss it out right here to Hall. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Inside the red zone, and that means don't come away from there with anything less than three points, but everyone's thinking about six. They're trying to get to the end zone. They decide to run a toss. Big people up front being mobile and moving, and a running back trying to follow behind them to find the yardage, and that's exactly what he did. Wilson now to throw on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Jets are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hookup and set up a first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. Here's Wilson to throw. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and it ends with a Jet touchdown.
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Here's Allen on first and 10. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. John Franklin Myers, the one in there to drop him. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 0 ball game. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. So the shotgun snap to Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat. Has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Right back to Cook for another completion. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep when you catch him close to the spot. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To the air, Allen. Looking on the out route, he finds Shakir. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that will bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, 
so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now Allen again. And Diggs has it. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. On second down, here's Allen. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. And yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand new ball game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And we will likely not see another play here as they take the knee and head into the intermission all tied. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, we thanks thought this as one always. would be a close this battle coming in, and game we have not been disappointed. Be back They're all even to this point. Three. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Second half starts with a run by Hall. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. That was good tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And he puts
puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. From the 42-yard line, here's the second down and four. To throw is Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Wilson's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Brings up second and three at the 46-yard line. Running left, it's Hall. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Here's Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Oh, they'll try to jet sweep here with Lazard. Oh, and this one and may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Excellent effort defensively. Tackle for loss goes to Leonard Floyd. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw in that play with the loss. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. A big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And yeah, the question now, can they get closer on third down? A field goal from here, you're looking at right about a 52-yarder. Now Wilson. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. That's Matt Milano firing in from his linebacker position. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The Bills going to take over again on offense. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen on the slant, he's got Davis. They'll go down as a gain of six. And it'll be second down. It'll go as a gain of four. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot.
They'll run it. Here's Cole. Fights through and now a crease. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. He's a little relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Three timeouts plus the two minute warning. Here's first and ten. Here's Allen. That's taken in by Sherfield. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Throwing Allen. And will find Davis. That's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 38 yard line. But he picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. This is first and 10. Allen. First pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here a hundred times. Nothing good is going to happen. And if you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. Here's Allen. Quick slant to Shakir. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. A big play looming on third down. To throw is Allen. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And yeah, this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. Bit of a pressure spot here for Tyler Bass. This for the lead in the final stages. The kick by Bass is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there. A big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So here is Wilson and the Jets. Down 10-7, under a minute 20 to go. But they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Here's Wilson. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? They'll come up first and ten here. Wilson to throw. It's complete. Lazard. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 
This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up the first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Now Wilson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is taken in at the five. What a time to come up with a play like that. They're now in field goal range. But the opportunity is also there to try and win the game outright. Here we go. First and goal. Throwing now is Wilson. Someone in bounds, get them on the ground. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two yard line. They'll try to run with Hall, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. And now the timeout call. So five seconds left. And a field goal would send us to overtime. And now third and goal coming up. The loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder. And they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. This to potentially send us to overtime. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and they will tie this game here in the final seconds. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. Don't change that dime. So the Bills going to be the first to get it as we are back underway here in overtime. And this taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get sent to take over here. I cannot imagine how these players and coaches feel, Charles, because my palms sweating up here in the booth now as we go to the third drive of overtime. And as we know from here on out, any points win this football game. I'll throw you a towel as well, partner. I've got one for myself, but let's face it. Our nerves, our pressure, nothing compared to what's going on on that field. Both of the field goal kickers active here early. Can one of them become the hero and end this thing? Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. 
Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down and three. Now Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. But this is a pretty good drive they're putting together, and I know if I'm on the other sideline, that offense, kind of helpless, isn't it? Because they may not touch the football at all, because if they go down and score a touchdown, this thing's over. Absolutely, that would write an ending to this script. We'll see what happens. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Allen now looks to throw. And that is caught. It's Davis. And down inside the 15 he goes. Offensively, back-to-back -back really nice plays. This defense had got two timeouts. Maybe should burn one. Yeah, when you get back-to-back -back explosive plays, to me, anything over 10 yards, I don't care if it's a run or a pass, I count it as an explosive play. That sets your defense back on its heels. A timeout here would be a good idea and try to get themselves settled because we're an OT. This is big time. Holding offense. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330 pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's gotta be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just gonna settle for a modest game. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Now Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. route all the time but when it's well executed it's a beauty and it feels like the fade takes forever to develop like that ball is just hanging in the air and the reason why is that the receiver is trying his best to work the defender inside and give himself space to fade away from him and catch the football and that's exactly what happened there the extra point by bass up and good and that makes it a 17 10 score After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And New York set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's a second and two now from the 33.
Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll run with Hall. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Wilson to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in the yard. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and one. Now it's Wilson. Pass complete. He's got Lazard on the out route. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Back-to-back -back completions, and that puts them in enemy territory. And we're always looking for that elusive term momentum, aren't we? And I think they're building it with the back-to-back -back completions. Now they feel like they can either take a shot or continue to build it the way that they're doing now. Safe throws, get it to their... Oh, it's intercepted! That'll seal it! Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills will take over possession here. Up at the 44. A costly mistake here at OT. And you know what they say when you throw an interception like that in overtime? You don't usually get a chance to throw a second one. I mean, I'm not sure the analytics on it. Let's ask Marvin, our statistician, to, to ring that down for us. That's typically how coaches and teams feel about it. If you throw one, you likely cost yourself the game. A lot more was on the line of this one than just defending your home field, CD. They defend their home field against a division rival and get the victory, so this one feels a little extra special. It has to, right? There's always just a little more emphasis on games like this. Everyone talks about playing each game the exact same way, but you and I both know that is not true. Division rivals, you want to take care of business, not just at home, but against a team that you really don't like very much, too. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.